I just built the ultimate chipper. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just built the ultimate chipper, and I have right here a less than ultimate chipper, and I want to tell you how this journey began. Now, I feel like that's a little bit of an oversell. Just taking components and building them into a club is not really building it. I guess building, maybe more of assembling. I haven't been doing years of R&D on chippers or anything, but you have seen that I've gone through a lot of chippers here, and I actually like a lot of them. The Tour Edge one with the big head, those are nice, but the one I've been playing lately is this Cleveland Smart Soul chipper, as designated by the C right there. Do you see it? <laughs> This has actually been really nice, and it's a little bit smaller. It still has the weight of most chipper heads, so you get a lot of weight behind it, kind of like a putter head. It's a little smaller, so you can see here it kind of looks more like a golf club. It's actually smaller than probably a lot of three irons, but has a really big flange here. I really like this, particularly because I think it also has it's like 43 degrees of loft. So what I like about it is it does pop the ball up and it stops it. So many of them are 37 degrees, so they put a little more forward action on the golf ball, especially when you kind of forward press on the grip a little bit you kind of take away some of that loft so I like having a lot of loft there I like the balls to sit kind of like a dog sit boo boo sit but this chipper here on this steel fiber 125 gram shaft is actually pretty nice I've liked it and played around with it but it's left me wanting in some ways and so I discovered the components you may have seen them here on the channel to build I think the ultimate chipper so the head was great but the steel fiber shaft even though it's heavy still has a little flex in it right so what you might be able to see here is it still flexes a little bit even if i go to a steel shaft i was looking at wedge shafts i was looking at putter shafts most chippers have putter shafts in them most putter shafts are actually not that stiff there's not a lot of technology in them i was even looking at wedge shafts i was looking at steel shafts i was looking for the heaviest thing i could find to give the club some momentum through thick rough and things like that as well as get rid of the flex. So one of the things that I really don't like about chippers with any flex on them is that I take a lot of short shots here, a little square to square, sometimes two feet or three feet back here. Not huge swings, but kind of a dragging pitch or chip, right? And what I don't like is any of this little flex here. And even though this might not have a ton of flex, it certainly has some flex. And so you get just a little bit of that whipping action on the head. And especially on a feel shot like that, it just might add a few inches to the shot that you weren't expecting maybe take it away i don't know but either way it's taking out variables and then i certainly have liked this grip on here it's a hard rubber grip but i was thinking about going to a steel shaft to give me even more of that resonance through there that would give me more feel even through the grip but that's when i discovered this peterson connect tuned red putter shaft now this thing is graphite i showed it to you in another video here it is meant for putters it's a 225 gram shaft so it's very heavy little rubberized texture up here 33 inches in length so definitely meant for a putter but what i love about this is one it's super heavy so you're gonna have a lot of momentum through those shots it is like 1.2 inches in diameter on this end right look at that look at my thumb can't even cover up the whole end here where you grip the shaft it's already oversized you know very similar to the oversized putter grips and so you don't even need a grip you are grabbing right on the shaft getting so much information transmitted through the feel of the golf club it's kind of asmir and then what i love about this is you can see this thing does not even under my immense strength does not seem to flex at all and certainly doesn't twist i mean look at the size of the walls on this shaft here they are massive and so this kind of gave me everything i want even though they've designed this for putters in a chipper and so i have been playing around with this and i got to tell you that i absolutely love it so let me explain why so here are a few scenarios where I think the chipper comes into its own. First of all, when you are about 20 or 30 yards away from the pin in the fairway, I think some people, including me in my Yahoo golf days, was tempted to putt it. You know, I wasn't sure what my distances were going to be with my wedges or if I could get it to stop. I felt like I risked dumping the shot and leaving it fat. But with this chipper, you can keep it online by just creating a putting stroke and the distance may or may not be exactly correct, but because it runs so much, it gives you a chance to actually get into the hole. So here I am 20 or 30 yards off the green and one of the balls was about 20 feet short, but the other two balls were seven feet and five feet away from the pin. And so that was just about as easy as it could be to put that ball close and give yourself a chance to 
one or two putt here. Now, the other one I think that's really common is, again, being closer to the green, maybe not having a ton of green to work with, being in the fairway, again, being tempted to almost to putt this shot. And this is where the chipper is great because it takes out a lot of that fairway. The fairway can be really unpredictable, hit the wrong bounce or a little rut in the fairway or some thick fairway grass and the ball can just stop. And in this case, even though I was only maybe 10 yards off of the green, I had one shot that was about 15 feet away, one that was about six feet away, and then one that was only a foot away from the pin. Now, here is the other scenario that I think people hate, being just off of the green, a foot into the rough. The rough here is actually pretty deep. All of the balls are sitting below the grass, and this is where you can just kind of punch out the ball here. And so I'm using a really short stroke and letting the weight of the shaft and the club head kind of just push through that ball and they come out and they launch about five feet. They carry about five feet and then they roll out probably another five or six feet beyond that. And all three of these shots, again, they were all very makeable putts. And the beauty of this is that a lot of people will sometimes be tempted to putt through a foot of rough, even though you should never do that because that is an almost always an unpredictable shot. But in this case, you clear that rough, you clear the fringe, get the ball on the green. And again, I had about a six foot putt on one ball and then the other two balls were only about two feet away. So the chipper is amazing. So did I build the best chipper in the world? Well, it might look a little funny. The smart sole head here isn't that funny, but many people might notice the weirdness of the shaft, how thick it is up here. They might notice that you don't have a grip. I don't know that most people are looking at the clubs that you're using as much as people think. You know, when you buy new clubs, you think everyone's looking at your clubs, but most people aren't. So I played with this and really, honestly, other than the chips themselves being so beautiful, people will comment on that. Nice chip, nice up, nice pitch, whatever they might say. And most most people don't mention anything about the actual chipper itself. So I absolutely love it. I do think I built the ultimate chipper here. So if you want to build this, it's actually not that expensive. I wish you could buy all these components individually, but I bought the Cleveland Smart Soul chipper here. This is actually last year's model in silver. Just pulled the head off the standard shaft and then ordered this Peterson Connects tuned red shaft and put this in here. I did tip this about a quarter inch down here. I would say that if you like more weight on the head, you could actually probably tip weight that as well. You actually save some money by not having to get a separate grip, but man, this thing is just fantastic. As you saw, the results with no editing of any of those shots was fantastic, and that's how it's been all season long so far with this chipper. So if you want to build this, pick up this chipper, grab this shaft, fuse them together, and get out there and play a little better. I'll put links to everything for you in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things. I built it! I built it!